why don't you lift up your voice and your heart to the Lord this morning? Why don't you worship him this morning? Give him all the glory, give him all the honor. Tell him that he is God and there is none like him. And there can never be any other God. We lift him higher this morning. Come on, wealthy words. I cannot hear your voices of worship. I cannot hear your voices of thanks to him. Lift your voice, lift your voice up. No one can worship God for you this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Maga bongwe, maga bongwe, hallelujah. Maga bongwe, we are here to give him thanks in this place, hallelujah. Maga bongwe. Hear the church singing the song. Hallelujah. Come and lift your voice this morning. Hallelujah. Lift your voice. Hallelujah. One more time. Everybody say Hallelujah. 
everlasting God we thank you today we thank you today we glorify you today we thank you Lord for the 13 years that you have given us as a ministry we thank you Lord for the opportunities we thank you Lord we have seen your covering we have seen your grace we have seen your goodness we can testify that Lord you have been good up to this very hour we bless you Lord this very day in the name of Jesus Christ who else could have done this for us Oh Lord, we speak as the psalmist spoke and said, if the Lord was not on our side, when our enemies rose up against us, they would have swallowed us alive. But we thank you that you have always been there. You are a faithful God. You say in your word, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. We thank you, Lord, that you are with us up to the end of the age. And Lord, we thank you that, Lord, each and every day you were with us. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. I said we are putting our hands together for Jesus. You can do better than that. How many are excited that God has been with them? How many are excited? Give your neighbor a high five if you are standing next to your person. We see the come. Put your, put your hands together for somebody. We, uh, put your hands together. Put your high five and say to somebody, I thank God for my life. Yeah, boy. God, God, God has been good to us. God has been good to us. Hallelujah. God has been good to us. Can I say to, can I say to everyone that is in this place, God has been good to us. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. God has been good to us. Happy 13th anniversary, World to World International. Yeah. In the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. How many are excited? I thought I would see people jumping around. I thought I would see people celebrating that we are. I think most of you, you remember very well, I did not say much. Uh when we were entering our 13th anniversary. But now I have the guts to say more because we have, we have passed 13. We are, we are already in 14. Yeah. Hallelujah. We have, we have passed 13. I'll, I'll make you to understand a few things here. Hallelujah. So that you may understand in the name of Jesus. Just give your name a high five. 13, 13, uh, you, 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 you go to different places. Some will say when you talk about 13, it's a number of evil. So it was not possible for us to come and stand here and say it's going to be an evil year. Because what you speak, that's what comes. So we baptize the 13 with rapture speed so that we finish it fast. <laughs> but you can testify what you went through. 
if we had told you that you're going to go through this, you will not even have survived. But when all the people are going to go through this, you will not even have survived. But when all the people are going to go through this, you will not even have survived. Number 13 is a number of war, challenges, evil, battles. But we are out. Si pumela po kuchua kupunyo kona. San kena la po kuchua kungena kona. Ay, ya vadi ya kata ya bahase. Yiko mtabelele wacho wacho njino buda paka oma. Tato buda paka oma. Paka oma pukanga paripa 13. Tato buda paka oma. Pa 13 tato buda. Hallelujah. But there's something about 13. You see, I, I want you when you go home today, you, 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 you play that song that says, Tato Buddha Pakaoma. But I want you to say, to, 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 to sing also this song. Sing Aba Ngovile, Siyang Oba. minutes to preach so let me preach you guys just sit there God bless you God bless you God bless you I welcome you to our 13th anniversary we are dancing and and singing that we have gone through 13 hallelujah so I say to you can you can find out there are many definitions of 13 but there's also this one thing about it it announces a new beginning after, after 13, when you get to 14, you are not allowed to be the same person. You did not hear what I said. Joseph was 17 years when he was sold into slavery. And he was on the throne when he was 30 years. How many years in between? Come on, come on, talk to me, world. Please, can you clap your neighbor and say, Papama? Clap them. I didn't say touch. I'm saying to minister, to Pastor Martin, clap your neighbor. He said to his wife, he's giving them a high five. It's not an instruction. Hallelujah. How I many are excited to be in this place? So Joseph, because he was stepping into the 14th year, he was not allowed to remain in prison. I don't know and I don't care what brought you into prison in the, in the teaching to you. But I'm here to announce in the name of Jesus Christ that you are stepping into another dimension of your life. I am I Kayamaha. You will wake up a prisoner and by day end, you are a prime minister. You are giving people instructions. You are telling them what to do. I announce this all for your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, I faced the challenges of, 20, of, of the, the 13th years. Hallelujah. I can go to Psalm 66 and say, Lord, you caused men to walk over our heads. You tested us and you tried us. We went through the fire and we went through the water. But Lord, we thank you because we are stepping into our 14th year. And I want somebody to hear me. And I want somebody, the only thing you do, you receive it, you believe it, and you walk in it. Because I've come here to decree over your life in the name of Jesus. I don't care how bad it was. I don't care how difficult it was. There is one thing I know about God. There is nothing beyond repair. When it comes to God. There is one thing I know about God. He is the guy, he is the man who changes the story of a man. I don't know who is here who is saying, God change my story. Change my story, oh God. Spiritually change my story. Change my story, oh God, financially. Change the story of my marriage. Change the story of my ministry. I'm here, sent of the Lord today with a message for your life. The children of Israel, they went around the walls of Jericho 13 times. Once for six days. 
and then seven times on the last day. And the walls came down because it was not possible for them to do it the fourth in the time. Hallelujah. Now, home chapter 1, verse 9. I'm about to start to preach. I'm going to preach to you today on something called the anointing of ease. Hallelujah. The anointing of ease. Please, can we go? Can we go? I'm chasing my time. The book of Nahum, chapter number one, verse number nine. Yes. What do you imagine against the Lord? What do you imagine against the Lord? He will make an utter end. Affliction shall not rise up the second time. He will make an utter end of it. Your affliction shall not rise up again the second time. You have passed through 13 years in the name of Jesus Christ. What you imagine ab about God? You are still imagining that you go through what you have been going through. You are imagining that your prison, you cannot come out of it. You are imagining that that situation, you cannot come out of it. Why do you imagine vain things against the Lord? He will bring an utter end of your situation. Because trouble cannot arise for the second time. That saith the Lord. As we enter into our 14th year. Hey, but this is Chile Zanda. It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. As this is Chile Zanda. This is Chile. This is Chile Zanda. We are entering into our 14th year. Hallelujah. We are entering into our 14th year. Hallelujah. 14 is a number of double per perfection. You know, seven is the number of perfection. But when you go another seven years, you now go to double. Se 14 is a number of grace upon grace. It's a number of favor upon favor. It's a number of anointing upon anointing. When we talk about number 14, we are talking about the number of double glory. There is so much of the presence and the glory of the Lord in that place. It is a time where you go to rest and God takes over the battle. I don't hear what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. I want to announce to you that as you step into this new year, hallelujah, you are entering what is called easy and rest. I pray over your life as you enter this 14th year that you may see the God that says the battle is not yours, but the battle is the Lord's. You see, you say, stand still and you shall see the deliverance of the Lord. It is in this season. Where those who laughed at you, they will come and bow before you. Those who called you a thing, they will call you a woman of God. It is in this season where your prayer is answered before you pray. Where God, you know, you are like, you are like Zachariah. The Bible says Zachariah entered the Holy of Holies to offer sacrifice. And angels say, wait, wait. Let's delay the program. Your prayer has been heard. I hear Zachariah say, which one? Which one? He says, ah, the angel says, and your wife shall be with child. I don't know you prayed prayers and you thought they cannot be answered. See what the Lord will do in 2014, in, your, in our 14th year in 2025. You'll see what the Lord will do. You, you'll have answers to some prayers you even have forgotten you prayed. And when you, when you tell people about it, they begin to say to you, how did it happen? Hallelujah. Therefore, for that to happen, there is an anointing called the anointing for ease. Oh, the anointing of is Isaiah 10 27. Yes, I'm starting to preach now and then we go. Hallelujah. Hey, give your neighbor a high five. And say, Nabuya was in Lulegu Colonia. Utetin Loven Tolu Pulo Maske. But I thank God I'm still standing. Allah Mayakatas. Most of us who are here, 
there was a time when you told yourself in your mind that I'm giving up on God. I don't want to hear about the God thing. But let me tell you, I'm here to tell you that the battle is over. The storm is over. <laughs> Hallelujah. For you know, this one says, the storm is over now. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Look at your neighbor. Look at your neighbor. Look at your neighbor. I know you, you, you. Otherwise, they are your friends. So you know what they've been going through. Or they know what you've been going through. But I said, look at your neighbor. And just say to them, the storm is over. I didn't know there is an anointing for ease. But the storm is over. I sense something is happening in someone's life right now. There's something that is lifting up from your shoulders. I'm here to say to you, the storm is over. The devil tried everything he could to separate you from God. And I'm here to say to you, the storm is over. Ah! Guys, get your mic. Heaven is... Where's the drama? Somewhere behind the clouds. Heaven is over me. You'll be playing as I'm preaching. We are going. Let's read that. I just feel like telling somebody the storm is over. It's like I can lay people's hands today and just say to them, the storm is over. I know I'm figuring out because I'm going to Please, somebody, can you get the, 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 the words for that song that's put it these days? That's why there's Google. Please, can you be quick? I want to say to somebody, you see, you see when your neighbor cannot sing this song, it's because they, they, have not, they, they were not in the storm. So when, when you're saying to say to them, storm is over, when they were in the showers. So that's why I find that they, they, they are almost sleeping when I'm preaching like this. because they have not. But when you know the storm that you have been through, you know the storm that you are in, in and you, you have a right to say, God, if you take me out of this storm, I will serve you with my life. If you take me out of this storm, Lord, ah, I don't know if somebody wants to stay in their storm. That's all up to you. The choice is yours. But if it is me, I'm saying I'm going out of this place. Because I hear an announcement that says there is year 14. Okay, let's go. Isaiah 10, 27. And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off the shoulder. Ah. And his yoke from off thy neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. I hear the Lord say, as you step into your 14th year, I'm releasing upon you the anointing of ease. I am turning the tables against your enemies. What used to be difficult for you, you will do with ease and speed. The word burden, listen here. I used to think the same thing. It says, and the burden shall be taken away off thy shoulder. Hallelujah. This is usually an invisible load that weighs down on you. A burden. Unlike the natural one which you can offload on your own. This load is upon you every time. Sometimes you go to sleep and the load is on you. You wake up, you're trying to go on to work. Something is weighing down your spirit. Something is weighing down your soul. Something is weighing down your mind. The pattern. 
Sometimes the burden can be so heavy on your shoulders that you get depressed, overwhelmed, overwhelmed. And sometimes you see that life has no meaning. It's the burden on your shoulder. You desire not to live. How many have been in that place where you say, even dying is okay. I think I'll be better off. So upon this person, there is a burden. It was going to be better if they said it was only a burden. But it then says, and the yoke. Ah, read it. So you have a burden. And you have a yoke. There are two different things. Well, ah, there's somebody who is here. You know what you've gone through. <laughs> Sometimes it's even difficult to explain to some people how it was. It's a burden and a yoke. Because you're Let's go. And it shall come to pass in mm. that day. It shall come to in that day. Say to your neighbor, this is the day. Ah, say to your neighbor, this is the day. As we celebrate 13 years, the year 14 has come. And whatsoever was burdening my life has been taken away. Preach there. And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder. Amen. Let's go. And his yoke from off thy neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. There is a burden on your shoulder. There is a yoke on your neck. A yoke is a wooden cross piece that is fast. That they used to fasten on the neck of an animal, an oxen. But now the challenge with an oak, a, a yoke is that it, it is not the real issue. The challenge with the, a, a yoke is that it is connected to something that you must pull. So if you are just given a yoke, it's okay. Now we are mira mira. But now you are choked on your, on your neck. But you are supposed to pull certain things. Sikulati na kosa chani ngoma eti umtole we zonu ya pingi niga. Anga zutu kwa kusi chani. But what I'm saying to you is, when the devil comes against your life, he tries to make sure that uno pinu ane upe nyu so. That there is a neck Okay, there is a yoke on your neck. But also you are supposed to pull a certain cut that is loaded with whatever they are loading it with. And this thing goes with you. If it's in the natural, somebody might feel pity for you because they see it. But if it's spiritual, people think things are okay. You cover it with your makeup. You cover it with your wig. You cover it with your... Now listen to this. The problem with the yolk is that when you get used to it, those who grew up in rural areas, you know that. When, 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 when your, your, your oxen are used to, to be yoked, what the, the farmer does, they say the cattle are somewhere far away there. He takes the ox, the, the yolk, and he just say to them, yolk, yolk, yolk. They come. They come and put the head by themselves. And the, some of us, we have been in that situation. The situation you are going through, the enemy just says, yoke, yoke. And when you come to tell yourself, ask anyone who has been in things like masturbation, things like pornography. When I was a hambiya telling it that out thing, I would call a telephone. 
I come against that in the name of Jesus. Because today the word of the Lord says, hallelujah, the burden shall be taken off your shoulder. Whatsoever has been heavy in your spirit, in the name of Jesus, is it about children? Is it about your job? Is it about ministry? Is it about finances? I come with the word of the Lord. The Bible says the yoke shall be taken off your neck and the yoke shall be destroyed by the anointing. I bring the anointing of easy upon your life. Whatever was difficult, I come with the word of the Lord and I say in this year we are moving under the anointing of ease. Give your neighbor a high five and say the anointing of ease. I give your neighbor a high five and say the anointing of ease. There is an anointing that destroys yoke and it's called the anointing of ease. Whatever was heavy on your shoulder, there is a move of God this time. I don't care how long it has been, but there is an anointing that has come upon my life and I release it upon you. If you are a parent, I command the womb to open easily in the name of Jesus. If you could not get a job, I release you into employment easily in the name of Jesus. If you could not, I am a yakachaya in the name of Jesus. The anointing of is breaks the yoke. I am a ya. Hallelujah. As you step into, four, into our year 14, the yoke of sickness is broken over your life. I don't care. I don't care the name the doctor gave to your sickness. I come in the name that is above every name. It's called the name of Jesus. And at the mention of the name of Jesus, every name must be bow. I command cancer to bow. I command HIV to bow. I challenge you to bow. Kidney to go. Arthritis to go. In the name of Jesus, I come under the authority and the anointing of ease. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be set free in Jesus' name. I see somebody who had a big problem right now. There's the power of God lifting you up. Healing is coming your way right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, the grace of the Lord is taking you to another level now. In Jesus' name. That yoke of financial hardships. Hallelujah. Can I say to somebody that is here? Soft life is allowed. Comfortable life is real. It, it is not made for animals. It's made for people. I say to you this very day, I break that yoke of financial hardships over your life. I don't only break it, but I destroy it. Say so that trouble will not rise up again the second time. It will not happen again. I break it in the name of Jesus. That yoke of your children not getting married before end of 2025. Bible says, "Good God, it's Makadiko Ambuya. It's I, my Makadiko. Ah, don't you, Mama? But she can't achieve what she wants. Then we go to our own. We never go to Tarisa. We sit around church. Because there is power that breaks the yoke of bondage, and that yoke is broken in the name of Jesus. There is somebody I'm speaking to. You had a problem with your tummy, something there. I don't know whether they are five pros or something, but I sense it now. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is touching you right now." The power of God is touching you right now. The power of God is touching you right now. That, that, uh, that yoke is lifting. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Akaya, there's somebody you attacked in your dreams. The enemy comes after you. But I come in the name of Jesus Christ. Trouble shall not rise up again. The second time. The anointing of ease. Hayabaya. The yoke of financial hardships is broken over your life. The yoke of failing in relationships. My daughter, three, they are more than enough. I stand here as your father. I, I only got into one relationship and it resulted in marriage. None before, none after. May life be easy for you. Uh, I, I say that with authority. May life be easy for you. May life be easy for your parents. May the anointing of easy come upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hey, hey, I'm serious about that. May life be easy for you. 
Isn't that when you are carrying the yoke, when you are carrying the pattern? How can you carry the yoke and carry the pattern and you don't get the exchange? Accounts must balance. Bible, if the devil didn't want me to carry the easy, he should not have put his yoke upon my life, his hardships upon my life. Because he put it upon my life, I now claim also, hallelujah, debit and credit, they must balance, hallelujah. Say to somebody, can you balance the accounts today? In the name of Jesus, I went through the fire, I went through the water, but I must end in the wealthy place. You can't go through the fire and go through the water and end in the fire and end in the water. No one in the Bible who was attacked and it ended in attacking. Those who were attacked, they ended in victory. Those who were attacked, they ended in promotion. Those who were attacked, they ended in celebration. And I announced that of a world towards international. Sorry, if you if, if you didn't go through what we went through, please shut up. But we went through fire. You don't know how many times I wanted to give up on ministry. You don't know. When I had to tell God that, God, I don't think you are there. Because of the yoke I was going through. Because of the pattern that I was carrying. Because sometimes you don't even understand what's happening in your life. You don't, when you see a man cry. Not because of sin. But because of ministry. Because you have chosen righteousness. And I feel like telling somebody that is here. For choosing righteousness, your children will benefit. For choosing righteousness, your children will not fight certain battles. You'll be surprised when they come out and say we were in an accident, but it only affected others. There's no scratch. You don't know there's something that is called the grace of righteousness. They say, Allah, my yakataya. God will never forsake the righteous. I was young, I was old, but now I am young. I have never seen the righteous forsaken. No, there are children begging for bread. Your children will never beg for anything. They'll not beg for school fees. They'll not beg for marriage. They'll not beg for breakthroughs. They'll ah, because of your righteous. So when we say to people, live a holy life, we are not disadvantaging you. We are already going ahead of your life to prepare for the future of your children. Hey, Mari. Let's finish this. Ha. Hallelujah. 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 Ujesu ukambela ati bazalana. Ukambela ati. Ukambela ati Jesu. Ebuzimeni bendela ukambena ati. Hallelujah. Ukambena ati. Do you know there was a time when we, when we were starting 2011, some people were saying, ah, they'll not even last a year. Tell them we are now 13, we are going to 14. Ah, <laughs> yeah, my Hey. Just look at your neighbor and say to them, it's of the life here, Ufita. Kangelo, Uzewa Tenga, Uzewa Tenga, Lenuele Zamakiwa, we are turned this old life. It looks good on you. It looks good on you. It looks good on you. Just tell them that my father said so. So life looks good on me. Ah, hey, turn to the other one. The other one, they don't. Just say to you, you know what? It looks good on me. It looks good on me. It looks good on me. Ah, soft life looks good on you. Ah, Mwari. Vanoramba vachita Jesus Vanoramba Vachita mabasa makuru Panoramba Vachita mabasa makuru Jesu Panoramba Okay, can I finish off? I am here to announce to somebody freedom from all kinds of addictive tendencies in this day in the name of Jesus Christ. I break the power of delay over your life. I break it in the name of Jesus Christ. By
of lust for sinful things and the lust for the world. I break that force in the name of Jesus. You shall love the Lord with all your power, with all your mind, with all your soul. In the name of Jesus, you love prayer. You will love prayer. You will love reading the word. You will love worship like nobody's business. Zachariah 4, 6 to 7. There is an anointing for ease. Hey, it goes. An anointing for ease. I prophesy over somebody that is here today. You stay in a house that you never bought. The anointing for ease will come upon your life. Hallelujah. Somebody will say to you, come we change title deeds. The anointing for ease. Somebody is here. You have been struggling with business. I think that person is in mining. You have been struggling in business. But I want to say to you this very day, I hear the voice of the Lord. Say the anointing for ease has come upon your life. Watch out. Watch out. Soon you'll be the paper. You'll be in the paper. They will be announcing your cages in the newspapers. I'm not talking of claims, but I'm talking of cages because I picked that in the frame of the spirit. There is an anointing for ease where things happen easily, where things happen by grace. In this life, you struggle without the anointing of God. Anointing is an empowerment or an enablement to do what you could not do through your own power. I wish I was next to my wife, I would have told you, told you that I sent an anointing for ease over our life. What is it that you want? What is it that you want? I sent, I sent an anointing for ease over my life. I am a yakata. Basalan, sit to Ellen Sima, sit to a good and comasi for Bakabarit, sit to Ellen Sima. I am a about it. Let's finish this one. I'll, I'll, I'll conclude with that. For ease. It's allowed this day in the Bible. You, have, you, are now, you are now like that oxen that is used to the yoke. That even when, you are, even when you are supposed to run away, you can't. The moment I see the choke, choke, you come. Read. Zachariah 4, verse number 6 and 7. Yes. Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, Yes. This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel. Yes. Saying, Put your name. Put this, your name. This is the word of the Lord unto Welshmen, saying, Yes. Not by might, eh. nor by power, eh. but by my spirit, say the Lord of hosts. Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit. What will the spirit do? Verse number seven. Yes. Who art thou, eh? O great mountain? Who do you, who, who do you think you are? Let's use today's English. Who art thou is difficult. Who do you think you are? They call you great mountain. They call you great challenge. Do you know the great I am? Do you know El Shaddai? Do you know the one who is the owner of the beginning and the owner of the ending? Do you know the Alpha and the Omega? Ufunusensuvan. Hallelujah. Ufuru sensu man. Loku nante nena tata jula kuye tete. Ufuru sensu man. Ufuru sensu man uwe nantawa. Ufuru sensu man. Aku bale man. Aku bale chongo mfundis. Ufuru sensu man. Ufuru sensu man. Nila mosi slapa wa seba kuma 35, 36. Kari uka. Kari uka. Kari uka. Kari uka. Kari uka. Kari uka. 
Sikuru sezi taba wena uti nkambe nchela vantu tuku nzimu kuyenda. Ha? Ufuru sezi man. Mnye kala unga wapeni. Kabu yumutu. Kabu yumutu le nkomo sikaba. Kabu ye. Bala 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 sikuru kaza. Bala 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 I can give you a high five and say, I come with you. 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 I come with I prophesy somebody who is here. I sent you a court issue. I see a man summons down a palaya court. I judge on your behalf today. Who are you, thou mountain? Before Serupapel, you shall be reduced. You shall be reduced. Read the scripture. Read the scripture. Who are you, O great mountain? Eh. Before Welshmen, you shall become a plain. Eh. And you shall bring forth the capstone with Basala. shouts of grace. A plain you win. Eh. You'll be leveled down. Today, I'm reducing you, your mountain. You are a respecter. We respect the general We are we respect your mountain, but I come in the name of Jesus because I don't care who you are. I am anointed of God. There is an anointing for each. Something is reducing your mountain. I want you to write it down. What was your mountain? If your mountain was your husband, just write happy. If your mountain was a wife, hallelujah, just say stand. So, God will deal with the mountain today. He says, You shall be reduced. Hallelujah. You shall be reduced. Do you know a molehill? A molehill. Always to, always to the Lokiana. It was a big mountain. God is saying, you'll be reduced. Just, you, you are trying to stand on watchman's way. You are trying to stand on judge's way. You are judged today in the name of Jesus. You are standing there as cancer. I judge cancer today. You are standing there as what I judge. You are judged. You are reduced today. Can I talk to people that are here who are afraid to die? Death will not come over your life until you are done with your assignment on earth. We are too busy to be burying people. So we suspend your death. Live until we have time to come for your burial. What is it that has troubled your soul and stood as a stumbling block to your progress? I come against every anti-whatever. I come against this in the name of Jesus. Every spirit that is anti your progress, anti your marriage, anti your finances, anti your ministry, and I come against it in the name of Jesus. I break it today. I level it to a molehill. Ah, I thought someone would hear me and begin to stand here as a giant. Your problem is that we are two cellars in those ones. Hallelujah. We are two cellars, we are two cellars in man. We are two cellars in man. If you know your heart is right with God, man is not an issue. I'm telling you, I'm standing here today. When I come from Botswana, I want to teach you on something that let's go and invert the market. Hallelujah. But for now, I want to tell you that that thing is reduced. What is it? What is it that has been troubling you? When we are tensing, you can't even tense. Because there is something that is heavy on your shoulder. My God. Read that scripture. We close. Five minutes. I want to pray for three people only. 
Yes, and, 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 and we are gone. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let's go. Let's read this. Let me say, there is an anointing that makes things easy. That works for you while you are sleeping. Hi, Bazalwani. Don't you know the anointing the woman, the lady, the old lady of Zarephath encountered? Why is it in a seven? Is it flower so? Is it a lala? Unkulukulu yawe terein. Is seven sama futa? Ngai lele. Unkulukulu yawe teraman. Three years. I asang a pill. There is something that is called the anointing of ease. The anointing that things become easy for you. My brother, thank you, the one who testified about being called for an interview where he did not apply. I, I, I decree that that must be grace for every son and daughter of this house. Did you hear that testimony? That he did not apply. He even said, I didn't apply. They said, somebody sent your name. Uh, I almost said someone's testimony. She will come and say it yourself. She also didn't apply. Can I talk to you? There is something called the anointing of ease. This thing that you struggle until you, you want to pray for money to buy a car. No. Cars are not prayed for. They are bought. No. There are things we pray for. How many of you, okay, I know you are laughing because you think hey, the apostle is exaggerating. No. How many of you wake up every morning, they pray for bread? They just go and buy. Can you confirm with me? When the boys say they want bread, you just, you, you just open your purse and give them. They go and buy. That is exactly how your life should be every day. When you think of the house, you should, put, you should open your purse to go buy. It, it is not the anointing of ease if it doesn't happen that way to you. The last one. Let's go to I'll do three minutes, Mount Pundis. Please, after three minutes, stand up. When you stand up, me, I have to sit because the two of us can't stand at the same time. Uh, you are like those people who pray and worry at the same time. It's called confusion. You choose one. Oh, my God. Okay, let's use numbers 1131. There are two men. The other ones I'll leave. The book of Numbers 11, verse number 31. Yes. And there went forth a wind from the Lord and brought coals from the sea and let them fall by the camp as it were a day's journey on this side. And as it were a day's journey on the other side round about the camp as it were two cubes high upon the face of the earth. Listen to me. I've been preaching this for years, but these days it's coming back on my life. I don't know why. The Bible says the children of Israel, they complained for meat. And God, the Bible says a strong wind from the Lord. If you didn't know, that's the anointing. If you didn't know, that's the spirit of God. A strong wind from the Lord. Blue quails from the sea. It doesn't tell us for how many kilometers. But it blew them from the sea and the quails. They moved towards the camp of the Israelites. Hallelujah. I like it in another vision. It says, and they were flying so low and so slow. Such that they may have to be caught. I want to say to you, God is going to bring things at your doorstep. At, at your doorstep. At your doorstep, God is going to bring. Uh, if you think I'm lying, what about Noah? Do you think Noah chased all those animals? No, the animals were coming and Noah would just catch, put in the ark. Catch, put in the ark according to the compartment. I want to say to you this very day, get ready for the spirit of ease. Stand up, we are praying. As you step into 2014, the, sorry, as you step into our year 14, the anointing of ease has come upon us. Psalm 138 verse 8 says, the Lord will perfect all that concerns me. I don't know what was not perfected in the year 13, but in the year 14, all that concerns you must be perfected. I release this grace upon your life in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I have good news for you. The perfecting Transaction is starting right now. I am a yakata. Lift your lift your hands. Ah, Lord.
Hey. Hi. Uh, where is uh, Stan? Come. I want this song. This is Jesus. Rato lao om pilelo. Listen to me. I want you to smile. How many believe? How many believe? How many believe that they are stayed, they are, they are in, in our year fourteen? How many believe we have stepped in the year of double perfection? How I wish all your daughters can be lowered in one month. Wonk, one month. Let us celebrate. Hello, Omunyela is here. In one month. Hey. Why didn't Why didn't you guys have many daughters? Now I, I, I Now, Lord, why did I only have one? My goodness me, my goodness me. In one month. In one month. Ha. Yeah, but uh, I want to pray right now. But I want to say to you, welcome. Welcome to the season of rest. Because the Bible says, we were called unto the rest. And the others, they did not take advantage of the rest. I'm saying to World Trade International, welcome to the season of rest. According to your faith, it's no longer it's no longer troubled. It's no longer troubled. Hallelujah. I pray that my wife will raise money for suits because Kaya sends a gain. You're doubting me, man. Your amen is like, mm, listen to me. I'm entering my rest. I will not be troubled over you, World Wide International, anymore. That is, I'll hand you over to God. God will pull your ears. Anyone with a very critical condition, I want to pray with you. I want to give you rest. I don't know what your doctor said. Yes. Please come and take this. I'm done. I'm done preaching. Uh, we want to go and eat. Men promised me that couldn't show. So let me go and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord!